Hey guys, it is Wednesday, 14th of February. Mark Co here for you. I uh, just wanted to take a look at some of these moves we saw today. We got CPI a little hotter than expected and saw the immediate reaction was a big sell-off in equities, a big rally in the dollar, and then it was reversed. So I'm going to show you a couple things that uh, that our room got here. First off was the uh, daily model. It positioned short dollars. This is what the daily model got positioned. It bought Aussie and it bought CAD, both of them against the U.S. dollar. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, it buys Aussie at 78, 30, I think it was 37. So it buys Aussie on this move. And um, I'm not telling you this thing held to the bottom tick because it didn't. But it was, again, it was daily model. So it was not a uh, was not overly stressful for the several minutes, but it did come and test um, stop levels. So this is daily model. So it's still involved in the uh, upside here in in Aussie dollar. Second trade that was um, accomplished here was dollar CAD. So remember, it bought CAD, sold U.S. dollars. Did that very close to top tick. Uh, 126.42. The highs were 49. I think 49 were the highs. Yeah. So it sold 42 right there. So you can see that one was that one was pretty pretty spot on for highs of the day. And again, that one's still involved. So it is a uh, short dollars long of Canadian. A um, couple of other things that were interesting today. E minis, as I said, just got absolutely hammered on the number the expectation being that right that the fed's going to raise quicker i mean that's that's why it's it, you saw it happen um i had a nice uh buy zone for my subscribers us open subscribers at 26 20 uh 25 to 28 so i'll show you what that looks like um this again is the us open report so here is the buy zone for e mini traders 2625 to 28 again that was out at eight o'clock this morning so on this pullback here anybody following the report had the opportunity to uh to position into 25 to 28 for a little buy side and how do you like it it trades up uh not quite 75 ticks but pretty darn close the uh the lows of the day were 27 so pretty good in there within with a three point uh with a three point range um, the the other U.S. Open report that was pretty exciting here was crude oil. Uh, crude oil bottom ticked the 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 buy range that I was using. So here's my crude oil again. This report out uh, before the CPI. So the buy zone in crude was 58.05 to 20, and uh, some some volatility this morning in crude. We got um, the inventory, the weekly inventory report, but on the uh, release here of um, CPI you see crude oil tick down and the low of the day was 20 so again pretty pretty good on some levels in today so if you guys haven't checked it out I'd certainly encourage you to do so and um, you know the the whole point being focus on when you get it right taking some money out of it when you get it wrong um, losing as little as possible and you see a, a wide array of, of trades in here the other thing that we've been looking at quite intently is um, our counts here this is I've kept this up for the last couple of days for the uh, short-term traders right these these timing indicators the positive count uh, it's been pretty good so I've, I've kept up 30 minute trades in here or 30 minute candles and um, again here's crude oil right at the 1030 open so you can see from 5867 we traded uh 2 bucks higher so that's a $2 trade in crude um e minis traded about uh I want to say it's about 50 points higher after or is it more than that there's your 30 minute on e minis so again buy count yeah so it's about 50 points so all in all pretty exciting day again i just think you have to appreciate the the increased volatility so uh, for Wednesday, we'll see how the rest of the week looks. Hopefully, we continue some of this good movement. But I just wanted to check in and uh, hope you guys had a, had a nice day. And we'll look to uh, chat with you later on the week. We are doing a, a session tomorrow, um, an open house session at 1 p.m. So do check us out, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.